गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीबॉडी दिस इज संगीता सक्सेना एडिटर एविएशन एंड डिफेंस यूनिवर्स गेटिंग यू लाइव फ्रॉम एरो इंडिया 2023 एट बैंगलोर एंड दिस इज अ मोमेंट ऑफ आवर लाइफ टाइम्स वी आर हियर एट द एचएल टॉकिंग टू समबडी हु रिसीव द मैक्सिमम अप्लाउज दैट डे एट द इनॉग्रेशन व्हेन ही वाज फ्लाइंग एट द विद द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ द कंट्री वाचिंग हिम एंड इट वाज जस्ट वंडरफुल वी आर हियर विद विंग कमांडर उन्नी कृष्णन पिल्लई Fondi Kol Undi who is the chief test pilot for the rotary wing at HAL welcome sir to ADU chat room so wonderful to have you here sir kishan thank you so much and sir we really would like to know what a journey it's been for you f indian air force and then here so how did you begin sir uh, it all started off with the i always wanted to be a pilot from the beginning so uh, i joined the nda and uh, thereafter Came for training to Air Force Academy and uh, was given the helicopter stream. Now the helicopter stream at that particular moment was growing rapidly. So when we joined our units, or the MiG units at that time, there were number of operations going all over the country, especially in Tawang that time, subsequently in Sri Lanka and a whole lot of other operations. I was lucky to have operated in all these areas in the operational regime. So the exposure which we got was tremendous. The amount of flying which we did in a month was hell of a lot. So in my initial formative years in the Air Force, I did a lot of flying, and I'm grateful to the Air Force for giving me that opportunity in uh, this particular operation flying. And thereafter, I had become an instructor, and I was instructing on trainers, which is a uh, uh, SPT thirty two. and then after that i joined uh, i became a test pilot in 93 to 94 i passed out in 94 and ever since i have been doing test flying on uh, alh and thereafter subsequent flights so i have been essentially flying with hl since 96 century then i came on deputation in 99 then i was permanently absorbed in a chain 2003 2009 i became the chief test pilot so ever since i have been the chief test pilot and i've been very lucky because under my guard uh, so many you know uh, projects happened rudra happened uh, lch happened lh happened so I've been, and luckily i have been able to see that they have all entered production which is a very gratifying uh, experience for me i'm happy when i retire you know okay. looking back and now we also launch the next level which is the heavy lift i am arrich and with that all the requirements of the country for helicopters would have been completed so in this this all weight classes you know which are possibly needed by the military and the civil we would have uh, fulfilled what a lovely journey sir absolutely i mean actually you know it, it's something which so few in this world can talk about now sir tell us one thing uh, what is it like to be a test pilot it's an enigma for everybody when we talk to the audience they always say that i mean we don't know what it is but it's something really you know something awesome and yeah. absolutely out of the world so what is it like to be sir uh, you see uh, in every other aircraft you are trained on that particular aircraft you go through a training process on ground and in in the air but what happens for a test pilot is you have the aircraft nobody's flown it before and in the first flights and you get airborne with it and hoping like hell it flies you know <laughs> that is so that Very part true. is uh, interesting it's a process you know it is not something which you do overnight you can't tell me to go jump into some you know new aircraft i will not do that mm-hmm. i have to learn everything about it okay and prepare myself i have lot of discussion with the designers you know what are the possibilities of various parts going wrong and the difference between a normal pilot and a test pilot is a normal pilot does not expect anything to go wrong here we are always waiting for something to go wrong 
you see mm. so we are ready with it so that is the fundamental difference which we uh, on new aircraft subsequently as a mature and stabilized then we can also be so Right, right, absolutely, sir. And sir, uh, you know, when you've been doing, you've been doing it for so long. Now it's like the back of your hand. You know, but does it mean that whenever there's a new variant, do you need to undergo training or classes for learning what is different from the previous one? No, what we do is over the years you learn to pick up what is necessary for you to know. Uh, you see, like okay, when you take a helicopter up. you don't know if it will you know hover to start with so what i'll be interested is in where should what where will my control be control position be that's a very good indicator of is it behaving as a designer predicted so i have all these things so i have a lot of discussion with designers design groups okay. each one they tell me okay this is what you will expect So when when was the thing is going beyond out of that margin of expectation, then we stop. Is there something wrong? Okay, we need to. So we may not fly that day. We might sort out what are the issues and fly the next day. So it's a very iterative kind of process. Slowly, gently, we take it on. And once we are airborne with the new machine, there's a big team on ground with a flight test engineer also monitoring it. All the parameters of the aircraft are being monitored by each design group, so they know the limits, and they are carefully watching for anything going beyond limits. In case something is going beyond limits, they call up and say, "Ki look, we are having this problem. We ease out or come and land whatever the." So accordingly, we do what is this. So it's a very complex uh, thing, and helicopters is especially complex. Because uh, when okay, let's say we compare it with a fixed wing. No, fixed wing has only the engines which are rotating, spinning, and that the engine manufacturer has given you the engine and he certified it as fit, and so it is. Right. That's it. In a helicopter, you have a rotor which is rotating on top, and there are so many things which want to go out of balance with the rotating. Mm. You have a tail rotor. You have whole lot of shafts which are running. The whole length of the aircraft. We have gear box, so all this makes it a very, very complex machine. Right. And the more complex the machine, the more things can go wrong. So that is why you will see in the world, apart from the Americans, the Russians, the Europeans, very other country, no other country is able to develop a helicopter of their own. China has. Some machine, but they are more or less, you know, reverse engineering, you know, from the yes. end to end. So now, developing a machine from the start is something which we have acquired now. And helicopter is a great tool. Okay, it is expensive. It is expensive to operate and buy also. But however, it does tasks which no other machine can do. So there are a lot of. Countries which are which need helicopters, you know, especially which are mountainous, where where the roads don't exist, where uh, coastal areas, a lot of you know yes. terrains where you need helicopters. Now we have something to offer for all these people. Right, so, and so how does it feel when you are in the air and trying, basically trying? An aircraft, a chopper, which is you know, which you don't know anything about. So, what is generally the feeling that you know? Okay, yes, it'll go down, and uh, we are we are absolutely uh, you know. So, is is that a feeling which comes which any pilot has, or psychologically a test pilot has to be trained to do something he's doing on a raw machine, he's doing on a new machine. So, does that require a separate sort of a psychology, and do you undergo? Uh, Te, you know, uh, classes for it. People judge you. Are there psychologists in the Air Force who judge you and feel you are the right man for the right job? So, is it something like that, or anybody could, any pilot could become a test pilot? No. So, what happens is you you have to volunteer to be a test pilot. Nobody forces you to become. Once you volunteer, you have the Air Force has got an establishment called Aircraft Systems Testing Establishment, which has a 
सबसे कॉल दर एस पायलट स्कूल नाउ यू आर कॉल देर फॉर अबाउट अ पीरियड ऑफ फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी डेज वे यू आर पुट थ्रू एग्जाम्स ओके मैथ्स फिजिक्स इन ओन लड़ा बदल तो पीपल वी ऑल वेट बैक टू स्कूल and thereafter you are flown in an aircraft which you are not flown before to see whether your ability to adjust to a new uh, cockpit is there or not they fly and then they also know your past because from the you know various reports based on all these they select okay these are the so if you see in the air force There are a lot of air marshals and uh, you know air chiefs also mm-hmm. who work as pilots because mostly we select the best, mm-hmm. which is there in uh, both in flying and in every other way. So that way we are a select lot. Absolutely, sir, and it's so wonderful, sir, to know that with this great experience, you are now going to retire after some time. Yes. And uh, how does it feel? In three sentences, if you would just like to sum up the journey. It has been a lovely uh, ride, a very uh, rewarding, because I've been able to do something for the nation. You know, in terms of you know, getting the nation to, uh, you know, I mean. I mean Making the nation capable of having this uh, road trading platforms available, and uh, you don't have to buy from outside. The amount of money which goes if you are buying from outside is a lot, a lot, because the number of helicopters which you require are a lot, because it is required by the army, air force, and everybody. So it has been a very rewarding journey for me, and I'll retire very happily. And enjoy my retirement. <laughs> Absolutely, sir. Wish you a very happy retired life. Thank you, I'm sir. I'm sure you'll love it. And when you look back with nostalgia, it'll be a great life having lived. You know. So I think, and I'm sure the family takes full pride in it, and everybody who knows you takes full pride in your, uh, you know, the what you've gone through and what where you've come. It's just wonderful, sir. I think. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir, for chatting with us. It was Thank so you, lovely to have you on our chat room, sir. Thanks, sir. Thank you very much.